I was a huge fan of the Drake Cutter when it was first released a year ago. I love the Drake aesthetic. The ship was versatile, actually allowing you to carry most small vehicles, albeit very tightly, but it was still possible. And on launch, it had a monster quantum fuel tank. So the cutter was able to get you anywhere in the verse and back multiple times, allowing you to stay out in the black for longer periods at a time. And now in the year following its release, CIG have released two variants and they now say it's a well-rounded set. And I'm here to argue that not only have they not added anything new to the base cutter, but that they've actually removed functionality from the cutter and in some cases have misled players in the variants marketing. My name's Dead Leader. Let's cut into the cutter. So the base cutter, as I said in the intro, it was great for having a bit of everything you might need. And one of its biggest draw cards was that it had a terrific fuel tank which felt right. It was a bit slow and heavy, but it felt like that it was because it was built for function and that it must have just been heavy with fuel. And a lot of people still cite this as the main reason as to why they still favor the Drake Cutter as a daily driver. So it would make sense with the new Drake Cutter Rambler being released, boasting an even larger extended fuel tank for longer expeditions, a lot of people who would be looking to pick it up or upgrade to it, since its best feature had been enhanced even more so. So I want to do a bit of a test to see how much bigger the Rambler's fuel tanks are. I've got the base Drake Cutter here and attached the fastest QT drive, and I've also upgraded the power plant also. Uh, this one's with the, um, the Hosanna livery here. So you can tell be the base cutter will be the one in red. You can see here with the VK00 and the JS300 attached to this one. And uh, I'm also going to take a look at the Drake Cutter Rambler as well. And this has got the Noble livery on, the silver one. So I've always got to have the silver paints. And it has the exact same. So the VK00 and the JS300 are attached to this. So these have both the same stats on them. And I wanted to check to see if the Drake Cutter Rambler actually does have a larger fuel tank. Because one thing people don't realize is that the base cutter, when it was initially launched with its uh, large fuel tank, that was actually a bug. It had like 4,000 or 6,000 um, quantum fuel and they actually removed that. So it has, uh, I think it's like 1960 now. So but we're gonna go here and test it out. So remember, this is the lad of the base cutter. You got your toilet, which, you know, is functionally useless at the moment. You got a bit of storage here and you got a bed and you got a gun rack. And we'll just jump in here. The pilot seat, this is the only way to actually check uh, in game what the fuel capacity for a quantum drive is, is to actually get in the pilot seat and open up the map. So we'll just start her up. And just access the map. There, there you go, see, 1960. So it was like 4,000 or 6,000 when it launched and everyone loved it because you could just stay in the cutter and like go and do your day's worth of missions and that and not have to worry about like refueling or, you know, if you didn't hurt the ship that you didn't need to repair and you just stayed in it and you just jumped from mission to mission and you had a good time. And that was one of the, you know, that was the, seemed like the main sort of standout uh, bonus of the cutter. So you see here, we've got the new Drake Cutter Rambler, which is supposed to be for extended sort of stays out and it's got a, a big fuel tank and, you know, more amenities to keep you out there, like, you know, alive for longer. But you see here, we've got a smaller uh, back area. So it's harder to keep vehicles in and as such. We've got a new gun rack in the back and a uh, armor rack, which is the armor rack has no purpose. We've got a little <laughs> a little food maker there and a, a couple little seats to sit down on, which are also functionally useless. Um, and so the fact that we've actually got like, you know, an extra gun rack and an armor rack, like that, I guess that's kind of cool. But the fact that we've got half the amount of storage space in the back means that, you know, we could have kept so many more guns or armor sets in like containers in the back. You look here, boom, power fuel. 1960, exact same as the base cutter. So within all the marketing of the Rambler, they're saying it's got larger fuel tanks, larger fuel tanks. And if you're thinking that that's atmospheric hydrogen fuel tanks, then you'd be wrong. It's, it's not the case. It's the exact same fuel tanks throughout all of the cutter series. Same speeds, same fuel tanks. All that's different 
is what is here in the back. And all the things that have been added into the Rambler in the back here are useless in this point in the game. There's like, there, there's seats that you do nothing on. Uh, armor sand that you can't put armor on. And a gun rack, which is supposedly like the reason that they've moved this the back so there's less room in the back so you can't put like vehicles in easily or more storage to keep more guns or stuff in that you might need which you would need if you were on an extended like flight with this thing and i don't know if it's just an error or not but with the fact that it doesn't have the fuel tank but it they need to fix that because it's entirely what it's marketed for and it doesn't do it i don't understand the purpose of this ship if they it's just a few different, it's, a, it's an extra pair of headlights on the top of the thing. That's all. Weird. So if you take a look here, here are the stats for all the three cutters currently. Um, and you can see functionally throughout all of these, pretty much every single stat is exactly the same. The only uh, different stat out of the three cutters is that the cutter scout actually has, well, an extra five DPS, which is to do with the fact that it's out of all these ships, it, it's the one with a, a size two cooler and a size two um, power plant. Uh, but the thing is that all that does at currently in game, since the scanner doesn't work, is it increases the EM and IR rating. And the kind of scout is actually advertised as being like, oh, you know, you, you got to go in behind enemy lines and you can keep like a low signature when you do a scan or you could do a higher scan, which would make your signature a little bit higher, you know, if you don't want people to see. But it, the function of it, like, even if we did have the scanning um, functionality of the scout in game, goes against like what even it provides now like the extra power and the extra cooler doesn't provide anything to you in game right now um and it, weirdly enough with the scout as well it actually has a larger back area but they also have half the amount of cargo space in the back supposedly because they've got the little um scanning computer in the back there but the scanning computer goes in an area where the cargo isn't. The cargo always goes on the left of the cutter, so you still have door access. And that scanning, scanning computer is where that is. Like, I do not understand why they added these variants into the game now. Like, even, like, okay. The Scout and the Rambler both have new things in them that the original one doesn't have, but the gameplay isn't in the game at the moment. And they've said constantly they don't want to add ships into the game that have specialized functionality that isn't in the game yet. And that's all that these are, plus less than what the base one has. Like, it is such a weird decision to make, guys. Like, I, if, and even if they were in the game, I don't see them functionally being different enough to warrant making an entire variant out of it. In my opinion, the best option that they could have done was they should have put the amenities that are in the Rambler into the base cutter and not sacrifice that backspace. They didn't need to anyway. They didn't need to have, you know, the extra gun rack sure is fine, but the way they laid things out, they didn't need them to have, be where they are. Like the, the food processing machine could have been over fucking just somewhere else. Like it's it's didn't need to be there. The red cutter Rambler, should be the cutter, except with the same amount of space in the back, so you can still get that little vehicle in there, making it actually usable. If you're going to stay out, you're going to need a smaller vehicle. You're going to need all that stuff in the future. And they should have made a third one be something like an infiltration or extraction version of it, where you remove all the habitation stuff and give it all just cargo space behind the cockpit, but it's got an extremely low... Uh, EM and IR signature, make it essentially invisible and then remove the guns off of it and make it so its only purpose is to like access an area, say, say like jump town or somewhere you've died and you need to go and recover your body or whatever and you're going in there with no guns and you just want to be able to be as stealthy as possible, grab your stuff and get out of there or like insert like a team into somewhere. Like, or if you want to, like, Ghost Hollow, you want to land on Ghost Hollow and just do FPS, but you don't have to do the, the flight combat. Th that should be an option. The, uh, like, uh, that would be far more interesting a variant of the cutter, in my opinion. And it's it's, it's less. It'd be, it'd be what they're doing anyway, like, you're giving it less than what the others have, but it would have an actual, like, 
functional use and purpose in the game. I don't see any value in releasing these sorts of things into the game at this point when they're like they're functionally useless like they've taken away the the purpose of why people really kind of like the cut i know a lot of people um in my recent daily drivers video they didn't like the fact that i didn't include the cutter but i did in my initial one uh a year ago but when it came out because it had that massive fuel tank and people in the comments were like oh, i like the cutter because it has this massive fuel tank but people still believe that that's the case with the cutter and they still fly it sort of without realizing that it's not anywhere near like what it was and when they see the cutter rambler being added now it's almost like they're saying oh if you get the cutter rambler it'll be like what it was or it'll be even better than you know, when it first launched, and it's not. It's the exact same nerfed version of the cutter. And I don't know if it's just a bug that they haven't like updated the values on it or like, or what the hell's going on really, but <sighs> there's no functional difference between these ships other than that they've removed functionality from them and they're charging $5 more. This is a bit silly. And yeah. I just wanted to talk about it because I haven't seen anyone talking about it. I see people just like praising the Cutter Rambler. And I I think it's extremely silly. I think that they should add any of the amenities that the Cutter Rambler have to the base Cutter. And they should fucking just rework the rest. Make them actually different for Christ's sake. Like, they might as well release a variant that just has a garbage disposal unit on it, you know? So this one's got a garbage disposal unit. Oh, can you do anything with it? No. Okay. Uh, cool. Like, and we've also removed the guns. I, what are they doing? Like, you can't... Is this where we're getting with Star Citizen? They're just going to release more and more variants that functionally just have visual decorative differences in them? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess at some point they've, they've got to pat it out. More choice is better, but there's no choice to be had here. They're just variants uh, at different levels of badness. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of get the conversation started about this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Dead Leader. I'll see you out there in the verse. Thank you to my patrons for helping me make this content. All love you.